Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Google has released the Android 7.1 Nougat uh, developer preview on your Nexus 6P, 5X, and Pixel C, and you go to About Phone, you'll see Android version 7.1.1 on my 6P right now. Easter egg is the exact same, in case you were wondering, you see you can activate catching those cats right there. Now you'll see it's a little bit late right now, so just kind of want to jump right into it. So now to start, there's an extra quick toggle right up here. So now you'll see you have six instead of five. When you swipe down again, you still have that full page of them, no new ones to make note of. Now continuing on, let's jump into settings and you'll see there is all and support. Let's go over to support. We're here for you 24 seven phone and chats uh, disabled right now. So you can call them and you'll see, you can just tap on phone, send system information, okay. And then you're gonna go ahead and request a support call. So you put your name in, your phone number and describe your issue. And it looks like they're gonna just go ahead and um, call you instead of you calling them. And of course you'll notice some of these new features are already on the Pixel phones, which I will get soon. I actually just got a notification. So click that subscribe button to see some Google Pixel coverage very soon. Anyways, launcher shortcuts, that is one of them. So let me press and hold on the Play Store. So just press and hold, it's not 3D touch, it's just pressing and holding. You'll see my apps. So I can quickly jump into my apps and see the installed apps. If I go to phone and press and hold, you'll see it says new contact, I can add a new contact. Messaging, you can jump to a quick thread, messaging thread, or go to new conversation. Now it's also important to note that you can still press and hold and you'll see new incognito tab or new tab. And then if you move around, you can go ahead and remove it from the home screen if you like to. So that option isn't disabled. So now I wanna press and hold, go to a conversation, and you'll see this conversation right here. Now, one thing to make note of is the GIF keyboard, GIF keyboard got activated. You go to the emoji button, you'll see GIF right there. You can search for GIFs if you wanna say good morning. You can go ahead and select one and hit send if you had a SIM card in there. I don't have mine in my 6P at the moment. Now moving along, let's jump back into settings and there are moves. So you'll see moves, a new option right here. You can jump to camera quickly by double pressing the uh, power button, which has actually already been there. Flip camera, I'll show in just a second, and lift to check phone to quickly check your notifications, pick up your phone. I can't get this to work. I don't know if it's just a bug in the in the developer preview or whatnot, but it does not seem to enable for me. Anyways, let's go ahead and go to flip camera. So if I jump into the camera application and I just do a quick double twist right here, there we go. We are on the front facing camera and you can flip all the way back to the rear camera by doing the exact same motion. Now you'll notice they're missing the function where you can pull down the notification bar by using that fingerprint scanner, which is on Pixel device, Pixel phones. So I don't know if they're actually gonna add those in the future. I'll talk about a couple other features that they don't have at the moment towards the end of the video. But anyways, continuing on, I wanna go ahead and go into storage because there is now smart storage. So up at the top, you'll see manage storage and there's an option. So it says when storage is almost full, remove backed up photos and videos, you'll still find them in Google Photos, which is a great feature. I really like this is if as long as it's backed up in Google Photos, I'm totally okay with that. Go ahead and delete them off my device. So now it will do that automatically for you and you don't have to go ahead and go into your photos and delete them manually. Now also in those settings, I wanna show you that seamless updates are applied now. So when you go into about system updates, there's no check now button or anything like that. And with seamless updates, they should download in the background, shouldn't inter interrupt anything that you're doing. Now I wanna go back again and you'll see if I go into display and scroll down, when device is in VR, you can reduce blur or reduce flicker. You have two options right there. So daydream VR mode has been added as well. Now check this out, press and hold the power button, power off and restart, a long awaited reboot button. I don't know why it took Google so long to add it, but it is now there. You can reboot the device real quickly. Couple things to make note of. First of all, the Pixel launcher is not in this preview and you'll see I swipe over, it's just the Google Now launcher, Cubs one night, awesome. Anyways, you'll see I just have the button down there for the app tray, swiping up does absolutely nothing. Now another thing missing is Google Assistant. Pressing and holding on the home button right there activates screen search. So it's not even now on tap anymore. It's called screen search. And then of course, swiping up does absolutely nothing. So Google Assistant is currently only on Pixel devices at the moment. Again, this is a developer preview. We'll see if they will or will not add these things. And also one more is called Nightlight. That did not get added either, which is when it'll kind of take away the whites on your display to make it easier to see at night. That is not added in there either. Anyways, that's pretty much it from the Android 7.1 Nougat Developer Preview. There will be a couple more after this. I will go ahead and make videos when they come out, so click that subscribe button so you're notified. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go ahead to bed now, so click that thumbs up button. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.